Hi, Alyssa here for AOP Tech on YouTube, and today we're going to look at some changes that happened in the Google Admin Console, um, specifically related to turning apps on and off uh, for our apps administrators. So this video specifically relates to folks who are uh, an administrator, an Admin Console administrator, and have apps privileges on their domain. So let's take a look in there. Know that this change happened about the middle of December. So if you don't see it yet on your domain, it's coming. Uh, it has already launched on our domain. We're on the rapid release schedule. It might take another two weeks or so, uh, depending upon your domain. So I'm in my admin console. And the first thing I'm gonna go do is go to apps. And then I'm gonna select G Suite as an example here. And these are the core apps. You may decide that you would like different things on and off for your domain, uh, which is a great benefit of the G Suite uh, apps. So right now what I'm looking at, I can see here on the left hand side, uh, this is very cleaned up compared to what the apps console used to look like. So they've cleaned it up, they've streamlined it for a bit. The first thing that I'm looking at is that I'm looking at the settings for all of the organizational units that are in uh, my domain. I can see that up at the top of that list here, all organizational units. So what I can do is I can either select by clicking the little box and turn that app on or off, or I can use the three little dots on the right hand side of each app to turn it on and off. So if you're on this overarching all organizational units, any changes that you make here will apply to any and all organizational units uh, in your domain. And one of the best practices that we suggest is that you have different organizational units for staff um, and faculty. And then typically uh, we recommend that you set your students up by graduation year. What that allows you to do is turn on some apps for certain grade levels and off for others. So you may wanna give upper grades Gmail access, but maybe not necessarily the lowest grade levels yet. Or you might wanna turn Google Hangouts on and off for different organizational units. So when I'm in this overarching piece, um, you can see kind of at a glance that classroom is on for some and off for others. Uh, Docs is on for everyone, except, and so on and so forth. If I wanted to get into my specific organizational units so I can turn things on and off, I can look at settings for specific organizational units. So right now I have selected what's our main organizational unit, our overarching. Uh, in my case, it's archphila-oce.org. Uh, yours would be your school domain. And I know which one it is because up at the top of that list, it shows for um, that that name up at the top of the organizational unit. So again, I can see that for the main organization, all things are on. But then I can get more granular than that. So I'm gonna select Bayside High School here, which is our demo school. And I can see showing results for Bayside High School. So now I know that I'm in that specific organizational uh, unit. And I can see calendar is on, classroom is on, Gmail is turned off. So how do I do that if I wanted to say, uh, for example, to turn Google Hangouts off for Bayside High School? I can do two different things. I can either select the checkbox, turn it on or off, or if I unselect that checkbox, just by hovering in that uh, line, I get the three little dots on the right-hand side. Oops. I can select it, I can turn it off, which means I'm overriding that, or I can turn it on. Uh, so for example, I'm gonna turn this off. It can take up to 24 hours to turn that off, turn off. It will update, and now you can see Google Hangouts is off. So it's really simple to customize how your school uh, is using the G Suite platform, particularly by grade level uh, for, for your students there. And it's now even more streamlined to do in the admin console. 
As always, subscribe to AOP Tech on YouTube below to get all the latest updates on G Suite for Education and all things ed tech. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram, all at AOP Tech. And our resource website is aoptech.org. We look forward to putting out tons more videos uh, in the new year to you. Have a great day.